Hi, I'm Mike. Congratulations on buying your pea trumpet. I love playing mine. I've been playing the trumpet for about 41 years. In this video, I'm going to tell you a bit about how to make a sound out of it. Also, how to change notes or the pitch so you can play a nice melody. And finally, how to develop your own sound so that you can become a really good trumpet player. How do we make a sound on the pea trumpet? We've got a plastic mouthpiece, which is a cup with a hole in it. And we've got a plastic trumpet, which has got a tube with some valves here, these things that we press up and down, and a hole all the way through. What is there inside a pea trumpet? Well, there's some air in there. We need to get that moving. What is sound? How do we make a sound? Sound is air and vibrations working together. Let's see if we can make a sound on, by buzzing our lips. Let's make a sound like a raspberry. <laughs> now, that's maybe a bit rude, so let's try and make it a bit more polite. Let's roll the lips in. Make the, make the corners a bit tighter. Roll your lips in and let's try buzzing and making a make more polite sound. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe in. Copy me. Now we've got that sound, we've got a buzz, that's what we call it, we're going to use the mouthpiece and see if we can maybe amplify that sound a bit with the mouthpiece. Let's try buzzing first and putting the mouthpiece on our lips. About two thirds on the bottom, one third on the top, in the, in the middle of your lips. So we started to make a sound on a little tiny bit of tubing. Let's add that mouthpiece, that bit of tubing, to the long bit of tubing, the pea trumpet, which has got this on the end, a bell, which hopefully will amplify the sound that we're making with our lips and the mouthpiece. Let's try buzzing and putting the pea trumpet on with the mouthpiece. Yes, we're now getting a sound. Let's try again. Some of you might play a lower note or a lower sounding note than that. That's maybe because your lips are a bit more relaxed and maybe you're not blowing quite as hard. Let's see what happens if we do relax the corners of our mouth and our lips and blow a bit less. See what happens to the note then. Yes, we're getting a lower note. Let's try again. Let's try now playing a higher note. How did I do that? Well, I tightened my lips up then. So if you tighten your lips, you get a higher note. If you slacken your lips and you blow a bit less, you get a lower note. Let's see if we can change, get some other notes. How do we get notes on a, on a trumpet? Well, we use these things here. They're called valves. And if I press this valve down here, it lets the air travel into this bit of tubing here. If I press a second valve down, it allows the air to travel into this bit of tubing and the third valve into this long bit of tubing here. Let's play the first note that we did. And then after we've played that, let's press the valve down. This time, try playing the note straight off. So we're gonna breathe in and put the mouthpiece on and try blowing the note as though you're going to just vibrate your lips, but just blow the note and see if it comes straight away rather than vibrating and then putting the mouthpiece on. Put the mouthpiece on now and breathe in. Let's try our first note and then press the valve down. We get a lower note. I wonder why that is. Well, that's because we have a longer piece of tubing. If we use a longer piece of tubing, we get a lower note. 
If we press the other valve down, we play our first note and press the other valve down. Again, we get a lower note because we've got a slightly longer bit of tubing. If I combine all those valves, then we can make enough notes to play a tune. Now we've got our full set of notes by using the valves and changing the tension on the corners of our mouth and blowing harder or softer, we can now play a tune. Let's play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> 